This is everything that happens in Coach Carter in three minutes or less. Spoilers ahead. Coach Ken Carter takes over the head coaching job for the Oilers basketball team at his old high school in Richmond, California. Coach Carter competed on the team himself when he was back in high school and has unbeaten records. Coach quickly learns that the current members of the basketball team are rude and unmotivated. In an effort to instill discipline into them, he makes them all sign contracts. Some of the rules on this contract include making the players maintain a minimum 2.3 GPA, for all players to wear a suit and tie on game days, and for everyone on the team, coaches and players, to refer to each other as sir. A few of the players, including Timo Cruz, refuse the contract and decide to quit the team. Coach Carter's son Damien, who goes to the bougie school in the area called St. Francis, decides that he doesn't want to go to the rich school anymore and instead wants to play basketball for his dad. Meanwhile, teammate Kenyon Stone struggles to come to terms with the fact that his girlfriend, Kyra, is pregnant. Later on in the movie, Timo Cruz comes back to rejoin the basketball team. Carter agrees to allow Cruz back on the team if he does, like, a thousand push-ups or something. I don't remember the actual number, but it was a ridiculous amount. Obviously, Cruz is unable to do the amount of push-ups that is required of him, but his teammates help him out in doing push-ups for him. After this, Cruz is allowed to be on the team. The team goes on to play an undefeated season. The team decides to celebrate this win by partying with white girls without Coach Carter's permission. They obviously get in trouble for this, where Coach Carter discovers that many of the basketball players on his team are skipping, failing, or flunking school completely. Coach Carter decides to lock down the gym until the students can get their grades up. This not only angers the players, but it angers the local population and even the new show up to the high school. Coach Carter is confronted by the school board on his lockdown. Coach Carter explains that he believes education is important because he wants his players to have a future that's outside of basketball. The school board said fuck education and decide to stop the lockdown. Coach Carter quits after hearing the school board's decision. But just as Coach Carter is about to quit, he is shocked to find his players in the gym with desks and teachers, studying and working to bring their grades up. The players decide to fulfill Coach Carter's original intention of pursuing academic achievement over basketball. The players on the team manage to get their grades up and they start playing basketball again. Also, at some point towards the end of the movie, Kenyon's girlfriend Kyra decides to abort the baby, so yeah. Anyways, the Oilers eventually end up competing in the regional high school playoffs, but ultimately lose to St. Francis. I bet Damien is regretting his decision of switching schools. But nonetheless, Coach Carter is proud of the players for all they have accomplished academically and athletically. The epilogue shows that the players went on to lead very successful lives in college and beyond. And that's everything that happens in Coach Carter in three minutes or less.